Chernobyl disaster, accident in 1986 at the Chernobyl nuclear power station in the Soviet Union. The worst disaster in the history of nuclear power generation. The Chernobyl power station was situated at the settlement of Pripyat, 10 miles 16 km. Northwest of the city of Chernobyl Ukrainian, Kornobyl and 65 miles 104 km north of Kyiv, Ukraine. The station consisted of four reactors, each capable of producing 1,000 megawatts of electric power. It had come online in 197,783. The disaster occurred on April 25, 26, 1986, when technicians at Reactor Unit 4 attempted a poorly designed experiment. Workers shut down the reactor's power regulating system and its emergency safety systems and they withdrew most of the control rods from its core while allowing the reactor to continue running at 7% power. These mistakes were compounded by others, and at 1.23 a.m. on April 26, a chain reaction in the core went out of control. Several explosions triggered a large fireball and blew off the heavy steel and concrete lid of the reactor. This and the ensuing fire in the graphite reactor core released large amounts of radioactive material into the atmosphere, where it was carried great distances by air currents. A partial meltdown of the core also occurred. On April 27, the 30,000 inhabitants of Pripyat began to be evacuated. A cover-up was attempted, but on April 28, Swedish monitoring stations reported Abnormally high levels of wind transported radioactivity and pressed for an explanation. The Soviet government admitted there had been an accident at Chernobyl, thus setting off an international outcry over the dangers posed by the radioactive emissions. By May 4 both the heat and the radioactivity leaking from the reactor core were being contained, albeit at great risk to workers. Radioactive debris was buried at some 800 temporary sites, and later in the year the highly radioactive reactor core was enclosed in a concrete and steel sarcophagus which was later deemed structurally unsound. Monument to the emergency workers known as liquidators who responded to the 1986 accident at the Chernobyl nuclear power station. The monument is located in Chernobyl, Ukraine. Radioactivity in the atmosphere may arise from one natural causes, two nuclear or thermonuclear bomb explosions, and three induced radioactivities and fission products from atomic reactor operations. Most of the natural radioactivity in the atmosphere is a result of cosmic rays and the gaseous diffusion of radon from natural uranium and thorium found in the Earth's crust. The local concentrations of these gases in the atmosphere depend to a great extent on the distribution of uranium and thorium in the Earth, as well as on meteorological conditions. Cosmic rays produce, among other isotopes, radioactive forms of carbon and hydrogen. The explosion of nuclear bombs that release radioactivity leads to three separate types of fallout, local, tropospheric, and stratospheric. The local fallout is due to the deposition of the larger radioactive particles near the site of the explosion. This fallout is quite intense but relatively short-lived. Tropospheric fallout occurs when the finer particles enter the troposphere the lower part of the Earth's atmosphere, and are deposited at a later time and over a larger area, depending on the local meteorological conditions. In general, Tropospheric fallout occurs in the month following the explosion and takes place in the general latitude of the explosion site. Stratospheric fallout, made up of extremely fine particles in the stratosphere above the troposphere, may continue years after the explosion, and the distribution is nearly worldwide. Generally only large nuclear weapons produce significant stratospheric fallout. Many different radioisotopes are formed during a nuclear explosion, but only the long-lived isotopes are deposited as stratospheric fallout. Examples are cesium-137 and strontium-90, which have 27 and 28-year half-lives. The latter presents the greater hazard to animal life since it is chemically similar to calcium, and may replace the calcium in certain foods and ultimately become concentrated in the body.
The radioactive material in the stratosphere eventually mixes with the troposphere, where it then deposits out onto the Earth through electrical attraction or gravity, or by attachment to larger particles such as water droplets. Nuclear power, electricity generated by power plants that derive their heat from fission in a nuclear reactor. Except for the reactor, which plays the role of a boiler in a fossil fuel power plant, a nuclear power plant is similar to a large coal-fired power plant, with pumps, valves, steam generators, turbines, electric generators, condensers, and associated equipment. Some sources state that two people were killed in the initial explosions, whereas others report that the figure was closer to 50. Dozens more people contracted serious radiation sickness. Some of them later died. Between 50 and 185 million curies of radionuclides radioactive forms of chemical elements escaped into the atmosphere several times more radioactivity and that created by the atomic bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan. This radioactivity was spread by the wind over Belarus, Russia, and Ukraine and soon reached as far west as France and Italy. Millions of acres of forest and farmland were contaminated and, although many thousands of people were evacuated, hundreds of thousands more remained in contaminated areas. In addition, in subsequent years many livestock were born deformed, and among humans several thousand radiation-induced. Illnesses and cancer deaths were expected in the long term. The Chernobyl disaster sparked criticism of unsafe procedures and design flaws in Soviet reactors. And it heightened resistance to the building of more such plants. Chernobyl Unit 2 was shut down after a 1991 fire, and Unit 1 remained online until 1996. Chernobyl Unit 3 continued to operate until 2000, when the nuclear power station was officially decommissioned. Following the disaster, the Soviet Union created a circle-shaped exclusion zone, with a radius of about 18.6 miles 30 km centered on the nuclear power plant. The exclusion zone covered an area of about 1,017 square miles to 63 per square km around the plant. However, it was later expanded to 1,600 square miles 41 for 3 square km to include heavily radiated areas outside the initial zone. Although no people actually live in the exclusion zone, scientists, scavengers, and others may file for permits that allow them to enter for limited amounts of time. With the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, control of the site passed to Ukraine. In 2011, the Ukrainian government opened parts of the exclusion zone to organize tour groups, and Chernobyl and the abandoned city of Pripyat became popular destinations for so-called dark tourists. During the Russian invasion of Ukraine in 2022, Russian forces attacking from Belarus captured Chernobyl after a brief but pitched battle. Combat at the site of the world's worst nuclear disaster led to concerns about damage to the containment structure and the possibility of widespread radioactive contamination. Fallout, deposition of radioactive materials on Earth from the atmosphere. The terms rain out and snow out are sometimes used to specify such deposition during precipitant weather. World Nuclear Power The nuclear power industry went through a period of remarkable growth until about 1990 when the portion of electricity generated by nuclear power reached a high of 17%. That percentage remained stable through the 1990s and began to decline slowly around the turn of the 21st century, primarily because of the fact that total electricity generation grew faster than electricity from nuclear power. While other sources of energy particularly coal and natural gas were able to grow more quickly to meet the rising demand. This trend appears likely to continue well into the 21st century. The Energy Information Administration EIA, a statistical arm of the U.S. Department of Energy, has projected that world electricity generation between 2005 and 2035 will roughly double from more than 15,000 terawatt-hours to 35,000 terawatt-hours and that generation from all energy sources except petroleum will continue to grow. 
In 2012 more than 400 nuclear reactors were in operation in 30 countries around the world, and more than 60 were under construction. The United States has the largest nuclear power industry, with more than 100 reactors. It is followed by France, which has more than 50. Of the top 15 electricity-producing countries in the world, all but two, Italy and Australia, utilize nuclear power to generate some of their electricity. The overwhelming majority of nuclear reactor generating capacity is concentrated in North America, Europe, and Asia. The early period of the nuclear power industry was dominated by North America, the United States and Canada, but in the 1980s that lead was overtaken by Europe. The EIA projects that Asia will have the largest nuclear capacity by 2035, mainly because of an ambitious building program in China. A typical nuclear power plant has a generating capacity of approximately 1 gigawatt GW. 1 billion watts of electricity. At this capacity, a power plant that operates about 90% of the time the U.S. industry average will generate about 8 terawatt hours of electricity per year. The predominant types of power reactors are pressurized water reactors PWRs and boiling water reactors BERS both of which are categorized as light water reactors LERS because they use ordinary light water as a moderator and coolant. LERS make up more than 80% of the world's nuclear reactors, and more than three-quarters of the LERS are PWRs. Issues affecting nuclear power Countries may have a number of motives for deploying nuclear power plants including a lack of indigenous energy resources, a desire for energy independence and a goal to limit greenhouse gas emissions by using a carbon-free source of electricity. The benefits of applying nuclear power to these needs are substantial, but they are tempered by a number of issues that need to be considered, including the safety of nuclear reactors, their cost, the disposal of radioactive waste, and a potential for the nuclear fuel cycle to be diverted to the development of nuclear weapons. All of these concerns are discussed below, Safety. The safety of nuclear reactors has become paramount since the Fukushima accident of 2011. The lessons learned from that disaster included the need to 1. Adopt risk-informed regulation, 2. Strengthen management systems so that decisions made in the event of a severe accident are based on safety and not cost. Or political repercussions, 3. Periodically assess new information on risks posed by natural hazards such as earthquakes and associated tsunamis, and 4. Take steps to mitigate the possible consequences of a station blackout. The four reactors involved in the Fukushima accident were first-generation BERS designed in the 1960s. Newer Generation 3 designs, on the other hand, incorporate improved safety systems and rely more on so-called passive safety designs I, e, directing cooling water by gravity rather than moving it by pumps. In order to keep the plants safe in the event of a severe accident or station blackout. For instance, in the Westinghouse P1000 design, residual heat would be removed from the reactor by water, circulating under the influence of gravity from reservoirs located inside the reactor's containment structure. Active and passive safety systems are incorporated into the European Pressurized Water Reactor EPR as well. Traditionally, enhanced safety systems have resulted in higher construction costs. But passive safety designs, by requiring the installation of far fewer pumps, valves, and associated piping, may actually yield a cost saving.